Tony Finn here, aka Pumboy. Welcome to the vlog. You better listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can get from you. Boy, I don't need that much, need that, that much. What's that How going can about? I tell you what I want to do? I never needed you to give Where's me Danny? things. Where is he? I never needed gifts of diamond rings. All I ever need, I need, I. All I ever need is here with you. Baby, okay, this is the place where we really can go. Where it's always shining like the snow. Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know that I just want to be with you, baby. Friday, September the 22nd. It's 10.40 a.m. Just going to go up and do a job for a client of mine. Sort some email uh, issues out. Um, played some poker this week. Played on Wednesday. There was 11 players started, and I knocked the river out in third place. And me and the guy who was heads up decided to chop. So I booked a nice win at the Wednesday game. So that was really cool. Knocking the river out is almost better than uh, winning. <laughs> Okay, an interesting hand developed last night. The very first hand of the night in the cash game. It was a small game. We only had uh, six players. So we just all bought in low. But I had bought in for 100. Everybody seemed to buy in for around about 100. The guy on my right bought in for 100. So um, the first hand I had 10 7 of diamonds. There was a couple of limpers. I threw two bucks in. It was a 1 2 game. And the flop came down. Six, eight, nine, a flop to ten high straight, and there was one diamond on board. It was the nine of diamonds. So, the guy to my right bet ten bucks. I bumped it up to thirty dollars with my flop straight, and Everybody else got out of the way, and the guy called. So if he calls on that board, I'm guessing he has. He doesn't have an overpair, I don't guess, because uh, he didn't raise pre-flop. So I'm putting him on uh, top pair or even two pair, and he makes a call. The turn is the eight of diamonds. So now I've gone straight with an open-ended straight flush draw. <laughs> but the board has purred and if the guy was calling with two per, he probably could have bolted. He could be on a set maybe now. He could be on trips now. Um, he started to get a little fidgety, but he checked. And I've seen him do this before. He's checked the nuts before. And then uh, jammed all in. So. But it could be just on uh, trips though. And this is a guy who'll play any two cards. So <laughs> he really could have anything. Um, so there's uh, quite a bit that beats me now with the board pairing. If he's got a bolt. But. With that open-ended straight flush draw blinking at me saying hello hello it's an open-ended straight flush draw come and get me um we have a high hand promotion there as well so if i could win the high hand with a straight flush that'd be cool i consider checking but i'm thinking well i'll see if i can uh if he's really scared of that eight he may fold uh, to a small bet. So I threw in $20. I, I downsized a little bit. Thinking I could still get away with that if he jams. Um, I threw in $20. He instantly went all in. <laughs> oh man. 
Uh, but the pot is pretty big. Like I said, there's just the two of us. We started with $100 stacks. I've already got uh, half my stack in the pot. I gotta bet my remaining stack to win a couple of hundred bucks. So, and I got the open on this straight flush. So, rather than laying it down, I thought, well, what the heck, it may come. I might get the Miracle card. I am putting him on a boat here. So, I made the call. He turned over 8-9. He's made a boat. And a red jack appeared. <laughs> it was the jack of hearts. I wish it would have been the jack of diamonds. It would have been a much better story for the vlog. But I lost, on the first hand, my whole 100 opening stack. Rebuy. <laughs> play poker ah better come on hurry up got a poker game to go to thank you Friday September 22nd 615 Game starts at seven. Probably gonna be a three table tournament. Got a tough table by the looks of things. But that's the way I like it. If you can manage to get to the final table and get into the money and take it down, then that's all the more satisfying. I'd like to uh, say welcome to any new subscribers on the channel. Uh, thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, click the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below, all that good stuff, share it amongst your friends, retweet it, share it on Facebook. I'm having fun making a vlog, I've been going all year long. I'd love to go on another trip soon, but uh, what with everything going on, that's uh, not possible right now. So, home games tournaments and cash that's all I can play right now that's all I want to play right now that's all I can play right now so um, you know it's a tough situation for a uh, recreational player who's um, miles and miles and miles away from a casino but I've got a good bunch of friends around here that play poker, so uh, that's really good. I play a lot of golf, a lot of poker. I still got a business to run, as you know. Um, I'm a web designer, and I build websites. I have website clients. I also do uh, SEO, search engine optimization, graphic design, search engine marketing, social media marketing, anything like that. So. Um, so I have a bunch of clients, got to look after those guys. Well, I'm going to try to play uh, tied at this game. Play careful. Three table tournament. You always want to try to get to the final table. That's your first goal. Chip up. Don't risk your chips with silly all-ins. Uh, overplay pots. Pick your spots. Wait for your opportunity. And uh, you definitely need to chip up because you've got to maintain average or above average chip stack. Otherwise, you'll just get blinded out and go go burst by playing weaker hands because you've no chips. So uh, always got to pick your spots and try to chip up, but be real careful. And 
in a course to win any tournament not only do you have to play good but you have to run good and you have to win some flips you have to win you have to get those cards flopping your way and turning your way and rivering your way if you don't run good and get lucky in a couple of spots then it's hard to win a tournament Boy, I don't need that they make these cards in the night. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. How can I tell you what I want to do? I never needed you to give me things. I never needed gifts of diamond rings. All I ever need, I need, I. All I ever need is here with you. Go to the goal course. Gotta wait for this train. That's the end of it. Now nah, I can go play. Busted out of that tournament last night. Jack ten of clubs. I didn't run good last night. I, if I got anything decent, I, it missed the flop. Um, I won one or two hands, but nothing much. Uh, no uh, no big pot dragging for me last night. It was the opposite way around. I was uh, giving my chips away like confetti. Yeah, I've got that train up. So, uh, I went out with Jack Ten of Clubs in the big blind. Blinds are 1,000, 2,000, and there was a middle position limp button, raised it to six. Small blind came along. I had jack 10 of clubs. I completed to see a flop. Flop come 10 high. I was hoping that the button was. Um, Ace something maybe you know or a small medium per it checked back to the button I nearly jammed that I thought I'd jam but I uh, I was going to uh, check shove all in and the button made it 5,000 uh, small blind folded I thought if he's got a big pair, I'm toast, but I've still got to jam all in here. So I went all in. Middle position folded. Guy put the extra money in. Good friend of mine. He put the extra money in. And rolled over pocket queens. I never improved, so I was at. Anyway, I'm here at the golf course. And I'm going to play some golf. Take my mind off poker for a few minutes. Line it down. <whistles> Nearly got a hole in one. It just needed to go a bit more. <clears throat> you better listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can get from you. 